Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Sonal Bahal from Belgium. Hi, Sonal. How are you doing? Very nice to meet you, Meher. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So Sonal is an expert HR director and a career strategist living in Belgium, which I want to visit hopefully next year. Originally from India, she has lived and worked in India, Uruguay, Chile, France. With nearly two decades in HR in large companies like GE and PwC to family-owned enterprises and startups, Sonal has screened over 250,000 2, 2, resumes and conducted over 5,000 interviews on three continents, helping senior management in, to recruit, build, and evolve highly talented teams. As a career strategist, Sonal had people by offering authentic advice on how they can have a career they actually love. She will give you that extra edge you will need to land the career defining role, get promoted and improve your happiness at work. She also is the career, uh, creator and host of How I Get Hired, a top rated career podcast in multiple countries, which I recommend everyone to watch every Friday. And she has recently been recognized as LinkedIn Top Voice 2024. So Sonal, based on your experience and you have been all over the place, and I know that you've shared your story in terms of when you are in a new country, you need to network because networking is key in finding job. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of immigrants coming from India to here in India, but still they don't know how to network because they make it more transaction and we know that it has to be more organic building relationship. So from your experience, what tips do you have in terms of to network, let's say properly? Mm -hmm. I think that the word networking has become very misunderstood. Correct. And it has also become a concept that people Firstly, they listen and then they roll their eyes mm -hmm. or they listen to this word networking and they want to avoid it. Yeah. There's a networking event. It doesn't matter what kind of personality you have. The first reaction is, ugh, uh, I, have to I need to do it again. Yeah. I need to pick, speak with people. So I think that it's time to shake that up and change the definition of what the word mm -hmm. networking means. And I think that the word networking, I started my career, um, Meher, just on a side note, I started my career 24 years ago in software recruitment. Mm. And I was hiring networking engineers who, so for me, that was Cisco routers. Like the word networking, according to me, belongs in the tech world. Yeah. It does not belong in social interactions because mm -hmm. it just feels like, Oh, you know, look at your network, look at networking. I, I don't think it does anybody any favors. All right. The new definition I want to think of when I say net, when, when, when someone says networking is um, actually by someone called Susie Welch, who wrote this article on CNBC. She used to be married to Jack Welch, who was a big guy in GE, right? Back in the day where I started my career as well. Mm -hmm. So she says, think of networking as making friends yeah. and staying in touch. Yeah, making friends and staying in touch. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. When you go to an event, 100 people, you may meet out of those 150 you've spoken with in groups or individually. Out of those 50, you may have had a few more uh, deeper conversations with right. maybe 10. Mm -hmm. Out of those 10, some reached out to you later and wanted to stay in touch. Maybe those were three. Yeah. So three out of 100. That's not a bad result Correct. considering when you walked in you knew zero people yeah and you walk out and you feel connected to these mm -hmm. three people and you feel like hey next time i'm in your city or i'm in your area where you live would you be okay if i text you and they'll be like with pleasure and same goes for you yeah. so if we can approach it this way whether we are new to a country to work whether we are new to a country to study or we are in the same country Mm -hmm. but not approach it from a point of view of I I need something from mm -hmm. you. Yeah. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah. Um, because human beings are not made for that. 
we All have right. been wired for reciprocity. We have been wired to take care of each other. We are like dogs. We are pack animals. We take care yeah. of each other. Awesome. Yeah. So networking makes it much more mm -hmm. um, ulterior motive and transaction focused, mm -hmm. which I think it's time for this. It's had its day. Time it's to time for the definition to go. I agree with you. So the people or the students, sometimes I'm helping, I tell them whenever you're going to any networking event, go with the mindset that you're going to meet three new people. If you meet two, great. If you meet five, excellent. But again, a lot of times all these events can be on Zoom or they, you know that who's coming, check them out and then make it make, if you are online, it will be specific. The other part, I feel that you also mentioned that a lot of times people are forgetting to follow up. Whenever you are in a networking event, you know, we are, con okay, let's connect it on LinkedIn, right? We connect and then they forget. I tell people that have a schedule, have an Excel sheet, put those names, follow up, you know, and then make sure that you are adding value and don't make that you're asking something in return. Yeah, you're talking my language. Um, I um, All my clients have trackers. We have every line by line we check because we cannot possibly yeah. remember. We think we remember. Um, but very true. Very true. I agree with it. Thank you for that. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Sona a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us. You can like, share all the videos. So tune in next time for another great question with Sona.